Hey guys, what's up? It's Kay Jones here. Ignore the mess in this video. I am moving right now, so ignore the boxes. Ignore that. I am moving. Do not judge. This video is about my Miami Cuban, my sleek box lock, and my beautiful scarab pendant. So we're going to get into depth on that on this video. Um, this is done by Dan Daniel's Jewelry Inc. And I have a previous video on my Miami Cuban, uh, 10 karat gold, 20 inches, 8 millimeter Miami, Miami Cuban. So let's get started and to get into depth into this and my thoughts and my review. All right, guys, I wanted to show you guys the sleek lock and my 8 millimeter Miami Cuban chain, 20 inches, 10 karat gold and my 10 karat gold pendant, solid gold, well, solid 10 karat gold. Um, in my last video I did on my Miami Cuban chain from Daniel's Jewelry, uh, has a lot of views, you can check it out. I talk about basically why I chose 10 karat gold and my whole review and what I thought about it um, and the story on why I decided to get a Miami Cuban, all of that interesting juicy stuff. This is the box it came in. I'm not too big on the box, I think, I mean, on what the box is, I care about what more is inside. Obviously, the quality is really nice. And my first box that came in, I had like a bracelet box. So it's kind of nice to get the bigger box. I think it just depends on what they have in stock. But I mean, the truth is, um, it's what's inside that matters. All right, so um, there's a couple things I'm going to go over. Uh, first is that yes uh, in my last video I did test the chain for its carrots to prove that Daniel's jewelry is a valid seller and by no question that they are I te but I will let you know that I got it tested with an XRF machine and it came out the chain came out 11 karat gold even though it was supposed to be 10 karat so they actually went over in carat and then the box lock that I had now it has a sleek lock it was 10 karat gold um, so I thought that that was pretty great. Um, I probably won't test my pendant or my sleek lock, um, until I have time at a much later date, but really there's no question. I think you should always test your gold no matter what jeweler you get it from. Um, but at the same time, Daniels is very, very well trusted and a well-known company, I feel like, and they're like my favorite. Um, so now I'm going to go over basically... Uh, the weight of this thing on this terrible scale. This is the biggest loser food scale, like it, and it's running out of battery. So I have no idea how accurate this thing will be. It was 107 grams before, but to be honest, this thing is super low on battery and it's not that accurate. Um, the chain before was 94 grams, and then with the pendant on it. 107 grams. Okay, so it didn't really change. Uh, 106, and now it goes down and down because the scale is dying. So, and like I said, I don't know how accurate that scale is. It's probably the worst thing to measure any gold on, but I mean, that's all I got right now, guys. So you gotta roll with me on that one. Um, now I'm gonna go over the difference between the box lock and sleek lock. I personally, Per, like the sleek lock better by the way it does have that 10 karat gold marking right there just like the box lock does and daniel's jewelry's little um, signature um so daniel says that the box lock and sleek lock is just as secure and they're both the same and both just as strong just the sleek lock is a little bit more concealed i'll be honest like they're both incredibly strong um, and both incredibly hard to take apart when you first get them and so they're extremely well made and I'm gonna link in my description Daniel's Jewelry has a video on him creating or David has a video of him creating a sleek lock by hand and how it opens and how the mechanisms are I'm not gonna do that because I am recording with one hand and holding this chain with one hand so that's going to be kind of difficult for me to do all that and it wouldn't be as good as the video that he has on his channel oh it's telling me it's low all right so i you pay 200 dollars to get the upgraded sleek lock on your chain 
I, at first I had the box lock. I love the box lock. It was, it's great. I have no problem with it. I felt like though, I wear, wear this chain every day for like eight months. Even I slept with it on. And the box lock, don't get me wrong, is great. It'll hold up no matter what. But I wanted something that probably wouldn't poke me in the neck a little bit. And and it rarely did. It was rarely a problem. It's a great, it's great. No, don't get me wrong. And so I had the sleek lock added and I love it. It was, like I said, $200 and worth it. I don't know, $200, it depends on your carat of gold. No idea, this is 10 carat though. Um, and I think it will hold up for many, many years. I plan to wear the chain every day, day and night. Um, I just have it off to show you all for this video. Uh, the pendant, maybe, I mean, not every day and night, but definitely the chain and then the pendant for occasions. Um, it looks so much bigger on camera than what it is in person. I feel like that's all for Miami Cubans. So I'm not as gangsta as y'all think. I will show y'all this on, um, at the end of the video. <laughs> um, so, uh, do I think that the sleek lock is stronger than the box lock? In my personal opinion, I really think it is. I mean, they say they're both as strong and they won't come apart. And yeah, I agree with that. They're not going to come apart. They're both very sturdy. But I do think in long term, every day you stay and night, it's worth just paying that extra 200 to get that added on. Um, especially since it's so nice and you can get like special engraving and all that kind of stuff. I'm not into that. But if you're into that, oh my gosh, they can bedazzle it. They can ice it. They can make, they can make all types of things drip on your chain. I mean, these guys do jewelry in the hundreds of thousands of dollars and like, this is, this is, this is, um, pennies compared to what they do every day. All right, so let's talk about my beautiful scarab, or scarab, sorry. <laughs> uh, I chose this because, well, my jewelry is like my tattoos. It's something that, I don't know, I think you should put some good money into it and get what you love. I don't have any tattoos, but I'm really into, I wanted to invest in some really nice pieces of, a tattoo that I probably would get, which is a scarab. Um, if you want to know a little bit about them, I'll mention a little short tidbit of it. It has 10 karat gold on it. Oh my god. My, my iPhone 7 camera sucks. With Daniel's logo. This is the ball is um, 10 karat rose gold and the rest is 10 karat yellow gold. And then the bail. Oh my god, I don't know why. I just love this bail so much. I didn't think I'd be so into that thing, but I am. Um, uh, they was custom casted and he worked with me on the art on what I exactly what I wanted and he did phenomenal I am worried about the little legs in the long run But I feel like if there's ever a problem I can just send it back to him and he'll fix it um, for a pretty uh, respectable cost. I feel like all of his um, For everything being handmade and solid 10 karat 14 karat 18 karat 22 karat 24 karat whatever you want um, I feel like he's pretty respectable and real and um he'll he'll take care of you uh so about this scarab i why i chose it um it's a dung beetle and i know that sounds weird like literally it's a shit beetle like they roll dungs of shit um and they're known as rollers tunnelers dwellers and they basically live in shit but the truth is like i think the egyptians were onto something they egyptians wore uh, scarab amulets, uh, middle class, lower class, they all wore some kind of scarab amulet and there were thousands of them for a lot of generations for the Egyptians. Basically, Ra was their sun god and they believed in a heavenly cycle and these dung beetles represented rebirth and generation for them because they would roll their dungs of shit <laughs> across the deserts uh, in the sun and it represented the sun rising and falling in Egypt. And I think the Egyptians were onto something because dung beetles can basically lift dung that's 250 times their weight, which is insane. A human cannot lift 250 times their weight ever, but a dung beetle can? I mean, that is crazy. Um, and the nocturnal African dung beetle can actually navigate themselves using the Milky Way in gravitational pulls. Um, so basically, they orient themselves with our galaxy, and that's the only animal that does that. So 
I mean, I'm, I don't know about y'all, but the Egyptians were onto this shit. I'm telling you, they they had something going for them. And I think this pendant is gorgeous and Daniel's jewelry did phenomenal. They see me rolling, they hating, patrolling, and they try to catch me riding dirty. So let's get to what this pendant looks like on me and all of that good stuff. All right, guys, so this is what the pendant looks like on me with my chain and all. I think it looks amazing, and I was extremely happy with how it turned out. When I opened the box, I realized that it looked 10 times better um, in person than it did in a photograph, so that was a very pleasant surprise. I can't speak anymore. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this cringy video and enjoyed what I had to say, and saw some benefit in the review and feel free to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. I'll see y'all next time.